This brand is no stranger to the overlanding community. I think unofficially, this is the overland power station of choice. Hello everybody, my name's John and I am proud to show you the EcoFlow River 2 Pro. Unofficially, EcoFlow is the power station for car campers and overlanders. EcoFlow set out to improve upon their original design and this is meant to be the best power station under the one kilowatt range. The reason I'm able to flop this around so easily is because it's just 17 pounds and it's 768 watt hours. There's a good amount of juice in a in something that's fairly light and uh, it's a pretty neat little handle right here. You got a flat top. You know, since you're gonna be plugging things behind here anyways, um, I guess that's why this handle is shaped this way. So the weight is gonna be important because if it's portable, it should be light and easy to carry. So bringing this up to my rooftop tent isn't, that big of a deal. It's 17 pounds. So a lot of power stations of this size, this capacity are going to be anywhere from 25 to 35 pounds. The battery is made of LFP or lithium iron phosphate. LFP is important. A lot of the newer power stations are running this chemistry of battery and it's going to be more resilient in extreme temperatures, in very cold weather, and in very hot weather. So the LFP is going to be a really good thing for this new EcoFlow. So let me talk about the advantages to recharging this thing using solar. Well, first of all, you're harnessing the universe and it's going to be free. You're not using a gas generator that's going to create noise and uses fuel. You just power through the sun. And the nice thing is you could just fix a solar panel on top of your vehicle or lay them out at camp and you just forget about it and just let your power station recharge. On a recent camping trip with a hazy sun, I was still inputting 85 to 86 watts out of a 110 watt solar panel using genuine EcoFlow cables. Well, actually, I also purchased these aftermarket XT60 extension cables, and it made no difference. I was still importing just as much. Whatever you use, just make sure it's high quality, because I did try wiring this up myself. I tried to wire up my own extension cable, and I was importing much, much lower. Maximum solar input is 220 watts, and... That could be as much as 1.8 kilowatts a day, which will come in really handy during warm months when you need to keep your refrigerator running and your power station topped off. The EcoFlow River 2 Pro has a massive AC power input. As you can see here, it's recharging at close to 900 watts continuously. This means that it will go from 0 to 100 in less than 70 minutes. So on a recent family camping trip, I was able to get more acquainted with my River 2 Pro. Over two years ago, I purchased the original River Pro. I bought it with my own money at Costco. So now that I've spent 
time with both power stations, I could tell you the differences and how the River 2 Pro is better. So first of all, the River 2 Pro is rated 200 watts more than the original River Pro. I always wanted to run a portable microwave, but the minimum wattage is 700. And while both these EcoFlow power stations have X-Boost technology, which lets you surge up to 1600 watts, it's not ideal when running an appliance continuously in Boost. The River 2 Pro will be able to handle that 700 watt microwave now within its normal range without boosting. The next thing to talk about are the LFP batteries, which are going to be more resilient to extreme temperatures. I snow camp in the wintertime and in the summer it gets real hot, so this will be really, really important. Plus, LFP batteries just have more cycles. They're going to last longer. And the last thing I noticed is that connecting to the River 2 Pro is just a lot more dependable, reliable, and seamless. I'm able to check the status of the battery and I could also turn on the different outlets like the 12 volt AC. It's very helpful if you want to keep your power station inside your vehicle and turn it on from my rooftop tent or from an outside tent. So as you could imagine, if you have like a bigger EcoFlow Delta that's really heavy and you don't want to bring it all the way up into a rooftop tent, then I could just run an extension cord and then turn on the AC outlet remotely. You were able to remotely turn things on with the original Veru Pro, but the problem is you'd have to press this Wi-Fi button and then it was Wi-Fi only, so you'd have to basically switch your smartphone over to the EcoFlow's Wi-Fi network, and that disconnected you from your cell phone network. You no longer had internet. The River 2 Pro is a seamless connection. It's not as frustrating as the older connection. All right, so here's the EcoFlow, and only 17 pounds, so real light. It's at 98%. And this has been powering my refrigerator full time and inputting through that solar panel I have on top of this rooftop tent. So it's nice and charged up. It is going to be kind of cold tonight, so we have a. The wife and I have a heated blanket right here, just up here. It's going to be my mattress inflator. So I'm gonna go ahead and plug this in. I'm gonna turn off the 12 volt because I'm not gonna be using it right now. Let's go plug in here. I'm gonna press this button to turn on the AC, the 110. Okay. I'm up here in the rooftop tent and I'm about to turn on this heated sleeping pad. All right, so right now it is 45 degrees Fahrenheit up in here. And according to this, it's right now it's drawing 60. I noticed that the heated blanket consumes a lot of power when you turn it on and it's just trying to heat up. But once it gets there, power draw is minimal. And after running the heated blanket pad for eight hours, I still had 56% battery left. And there you have it. We're able to run the heated blanket on level two out of five. All right, now it's time to go over all the features. So in this corner, you have three USB-A. These are outputs, and then you have a USB-C output and input. That's another way to charge this thing. Here's the display, we'll go over that in just a bit. And then here is gonna be a 12 volt output. This is uh, perfect for you know, your refrigerator, because I think that's probably gonna be 
The most common use for the power station is powering a portable refrigerator. Down here, you have your four AC outlets, 110 volts, and these output 600 watts, but there's X-Boost technology, and that is going to um, output 1600 watts. So what's the final verdict? Well, the River 2 Pro set out to be the best portable power station under one kilowatt. And that's one of the key words is portable. I think some of these other power stations, they're not as portable, they're heavy. Because other power stations will weigh anywhere from 25 to 35 pounds, where this EcoFlow River 2 Pro weighs 17. If you need more juice or if you need to power appliances or gear that require more juice, more wattage, then EcoFlow has the Delta series. So there's two distinct classes of power stations by EcoFlow, the portable river series and then the heavier duty Delta series. And as an overlander running both at the same time in your setup would be a good idea. That's what I plan to do in the future. So thank you very much for watching this video. I am so honored to be partnered with EcoFlow. So just a full disclaimer, I am partnered with EcoFlow. I make a commission off sales if you click on my link that helps out my channel. And EcoFlow did provide the River 2 Pro for free. Now I started off this video saying that many of you, many of my friends, people that I've met, run EcoFlow. I myself run, ran EcoFlow prior to them reaching out to me. So this is a product that I completely stand behind and I wouldn't just make a video for any company. I am super excited about this partnership and I hope you're excited for me and I you know, I appreciate the support. All right, so the last thing I'm talk about are gonna be the exclusive discounts, uh, limited time only, of course. In the video description, there will be a discount code. It's just 5% extra off of any promotions that EcoFlow has going on, on their website. So if you purchase on the official EcoFlow website, you will get the following. You'll get a free River 2 bag and triple Eco credit. So EcoFlow announced that they will be having this credit system. When you buy the products, you get credits and you can put them towards other gear like solar panels or maybe another power station, like a bigger one, like the Delta 2 Pro. If you purchase the River 2 Pro on Amazon, the triple Eco credits will be replaced by up to a 55% discount on a solar panel. Coupon code valid till end of April. So wherever you buy it, on Amazon, on the official website, on Shopify, you will get a benefit. There's some kind of, you know, you'll get these credits or like a coupon code to go towards other gear. All right, so that does it for this episode and the premiere of the EcoFlow River 2 Pro. I hope you're excited as I am. So if you got this far into the video, I want to reward you. I will give away a River 2, not a Pro, but a 2. So you still get the 800 watt output. Uh, the only thing is the capacity is gonna be 256 watt hour. Leave a comment and discreetly incorporate the words, these nuts. Remember, the less people that figure out the keywords to enter to win, the more of a chance you have to win. So get creative and don't be that person that ruins it for everyone else. The only way people are gonna figure out how to enter to win is by watching this part of the video. I will either drop ship the prize to you through Amazon or I'll just give you a gift card if you live in like Hawaii or Alaska. And you know, I'm so sorry I'm gonna cut this uh, giveaway off to only the United States, maybe Canada. We'll try to figure something out, but I'm not gonna 
Sorry, I can't I can't pay like hundred dollars shipping to send to I don't know, Afghanistan or something like that. Alright, so uh, anyways, thank you very much for watching. I'm gonna leave this trail footage so that uh, you know people just don't skip to the end and figure out the keywords. Alright. Anyways, I love you all. Thank you so much for the support and and putting me in this position where uh, I'm able to review awesome products from companies like Ingleflow. So till next time, I hope you have fun on your adventures.